Today is Mulan, it's tomorrow something else. When will we control that narrative? And that only happens when we invest money into media, into product, into marketing. What are we as Muslims doing to compete with Netflix? Are we buying it? Are we, are we putting our money into the marketing to get onto Netflix, put a positive show on Netflix, to create a show that's good enough for Netflix, for uh, Amazon Prime, for Hulu, or for whatever. Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Netflix's cuties is trending on Netflix. Can you believe that? We're sitting here trying to get petitions, thousands of people signing, saying, cut this garbage pedophilia stuff out. But for some reason, cuties is trending on netflix and you know what i would say i think this was the perfect marketing opportunity for them they got people so you know rallied up and rattled and frazzled and all this other type of stuff and they released the 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 video the the movie uh, uh you know unlike popular demand and guess what it's trending on netflix mission accomplished this is the type of uh guerrilla marketing that takes place right where airpods makes memes about themselves so that people can become start talking about airpods or bird box makes memes about itself so that people can be like yo what is this bird box thing on netflix you know what i mean they sold on the controversy they don't care about us they don't, they don't care about anything that we're doing. This is a actual thing that they felt like, hey, my message is fine. There's no pedophilia involved. And, and by the way, this wasn't like Muslim parents. This was parents all over saying that what they're doing is wrong. But they probably don't feel that way. And that's okay. You know? But most of these people who, who are doing such a thing. Hey, doggies. <laughs> hey, doggies. <laughs> there are dogs there. So I'm outside. This is the, 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 the yard. This, by the way, by the way, just so you guys know, this video is definitely sponsored by Sindeed. Sindeed always keeping me fresh. Got the gear lined up. You probably can't see it, but I've gotten a ton of compliments on this, guys. A ton of compliments on this outfit. And by the way, honest to God, this is my favorite Sindeed outfit. They sent me a lot, obviously. This is my favorite. You know why? Because it has a whole zip that goes all the way down. It goes all the way down so I can just get out of it. The other one, I got to like take them off. This one's easier and it looks fire. This camo jump off is fire. Okay, so definitely link in the description. Definitely cop, guys. It's it, Honestly, we got to support Muslim businesses. You know why? Why are shows like Cuties taking advantage of us? Why is Netflix taking advantage of us, right? Because Muslims don't own Netflix. My question is, what are we as Muslims doing to compete with Netflix, are we buying it? Are we are we putting our money into the marketing to get onto Netflix, put a positive show on Netflix, to create a show that's good enough for Netflix, for uh, Amazon Prime, for Hulu, or for whatever streaming service? Are we doing that? If the answer is no, if we're not trying to be the best at it, if we're not competing at it, then we're wasting our time. We're wasting our time telling people to stop watching Netflix, stop watching Disney. And by the way, the Disney video is right here. Go check that out, right? About how Mulan and Disney are shooting in the Uyghur concert near the Uyghur concentration camps in Xinjiang, China. If we're not trying to be the best at it, if we're not competing against it, what are we doing? How dare we tell people, stop watching this, stop watching this, but we're not giving them halal, high quality level alternatives. What are we doing? You know what I mean? We're just here criticizing. Nah, 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 nah. But are we actually putting in the work to compete, to be the best in an industry? Are we doing that? You might not be, but I am. I'm working on a TV show, inshallah. That's coming out soon. I'm working on my children's YouTube channel uh, for Pretend Play. That's coming out soon too, inshallah. You know? But the fact that Cuties is trending, it's, it's disturbing. It's disturbing that Netflix got what it wanted. And no matter how many thousands of people file for that petition, it still didn't affect them because they wanted to put the video out. And that's disgusting. That's disgusting that they still released it. And nothing happened. That's disgusting. You know what I mean? These are godless, god, you know, the, uh, godless people. And this is not no disrespect to them. May Allah guide them. Before their point of death, may Allah guide them. But at this moment right now, there's people who do not believe in the Creator. They do not believe in the hereafter. They do not believe in accountability. They just feel like no one knows what's going to happen in the hereafter. So YOLO, let me just do whatever I want. That's chaos. That's chaos. Are you telling me that you're okay with believing and understanding that Hitler got away with it? 
Hitler got away with it. He could kill billions of millions of Jewish people and then he just gets away with it, huh? There's a hereafter. There is a hereafter. There's a day of accountability. And these people who are directing and all these sort of things, the cuties for Netflix, they're going to be held accountable for this too. And guess what? Guess what? And by the way, that's just for the pedophilia stuff, the promotion stuff that they're doing. This doesn't account for the overall subliminal message that they're trying to send telling Muslim girls that they're oppressed or whatever the case might be. Think about this. Think about this. A lot of us have been getting out the parents. Oh my God, the parents are disgusting. How can parents send their children, so on and so forth, to, uh, to do such a movie? First and foremost, right? The way the script is presented to the parents oftentimes doesn't show that that's what the movie is going to be about. The way shots are being taken, it doesn't really show the parents how it's going to be the final edit. So it's not necessarily that parents knew. Sometimes parents don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, but sometimes parents are so thirsty for success and greed and hunger and want their children to make it that they're willing to do whatever it takes to put them, uh, put them wherever they want to. And sometimes they might be pimping out their children. It's a terrible thing. It's a horrible thing. But the point of the matter is that it is trending right now. So I could be on some, yo, yo, oh, 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 boycott uh, Disney Plus, boycott, you know, Netflix, boycott them. Okay, good. Let me take your attention away from that. Now, how am I replacing your attention? It's like telling a person to get out of that chair. Okay, now you got these people standing. What are you going to do with them? You got to give them a better chair, a more comfortable chair. Does that make sense? Telling people to boycott Nike, Adidas, to boycott Disney, to boycott, you know, a Mulan, a Netflix. That's all great. Okay, get them to boycott it. Now, what's the alternative that you're giving them? You see what I'm saying? So either you create a brand new alternative to do that, or you stop this, and you try to find solutions to the problems. There are alternatives to Adidas. You're looking at it. It's indeed. Absolutely. I've gotten so many compliments on this. Fire outfit. Fire, fire, fire outfit. But the problem is most people won't know about this because you're so brand hungry that you don't realize that this is an up-and-coming company. Sindeed is an up-and-coming company, but you're so... Why? And you're not supporting Muslim-owned businesses? They're not using sweatshops. They're not outsourcing to Uyghur, uh, you know, uh, 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 jailed Muslims to forcing them to do something. No way. So come on. Come on, support Muslim businesses. Uh, you know, let's create more content centered around Muslims to help them, to entertain them. That's our goal. That's what it should be. Because today it's cuties, tomorrow something else. Today is Mulan, it's tomorrow something else. When will we control that narrative? And that only happens when we invest money into media, into product, into marketing. And we realize that that's the way of the future. You can either change with it or adapt to it. Do something with it, but there has to be some action. Stop telling people to boycott stuff, especially if you have no solutions for them. I appreciate you guys watching. Check some out some of these other videos that I got going on over here. Hope you guys enjoyed this sort of outdoor vibe. You know what I mean? I, I'm enjoying making these videos. I'm just chilling here by myself. I uh, love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, we're about to hit 100K, baby. With or without you. Love you either way. Until next time, I'm out.